loved it. Absolutely loved it. But she now realised that the big dog is the best wrestler in the world. Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new concept for these videos. We're going to do a pay-per-view reaction review kind of thing after every pay-per-view now with Flame and Captain. You guys can see all of our predictions on the screen. You guys will know what we get, got wrong and right and we're going, to little, we're going to talk about it a little bit and hopefully I don't get bullied too much for my awful predictions. So... <laughs> Um, Flame, you went with AJ Styles. Um, how did that? How did that uh, turn out? Well, yeah, he won. So that was like one of the most obvious predictions of the card. I thought. I Absolutely. thought that was a safe one. Absolutely. Because Sammy and Kale yeah. won't win, and AJ's keeping the title to Mania, and what? that Royal Rumble match was why pretty much. Yeah. What do you think of the match itself? I wasn't that interested in it. Like the build to it was boring. It wasn't that great. Cammy happened. Um, Can't believe then you the said actual it. match itself happened, and it was decent. It was nothing else really. It was, it was a just, good, it was a main, good event. Down main event. Exactly, yeah. Captain. Yeah. yeah, that's what it felt like. It was a, exactly. Yeah, like it's it's exactly. Main that's main what it felt like. So it I, wasn't a. It had nothing on last year's three championship matches. Well, honest. no, obviously not. Really no, <laughs> I I had no problems with it. It started off the show. It was a good AJ Styles. It gets the crowd nice and hot. Um, I liked it. And it's not like it was terrible. No, it wasn't. I I liked the fact that, that it was no it, no no. I don't think anyone's saying it was terrible, but we're all saying it wasn't. The stipulation didn't feel very it WWE Championship wise. I think it, if it would have been a triple threat, I would have been much more interested. Oh god, yeah, absolutely, mm. absolutely. The handicap thing ruined it in but, a way. But overall, decent match. Glad it started off the show because just it, that way it was done. Uh, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad, and we all knew AJ retained, and he did. Yep. Captain. Yes. You and Flame both went with the Usos. Why? Well, it's the Usos' best tag team in WWE by far right now. Mm. That was yeah. one that was on the fence about, though, because like, you can also make a thing for Benjamin and Gable winning after the screw job on SmackDown, in a way. Yep. And, and then. And plus. They're starting to get built up a bit more as like a legit tag team. And then Jey Uso getting arrested. But I just, yeah, I just, but just can't see the Usos losing the for, titles. For me, I just thought that it was a WWE thing to do to just drop them and make them drop the belt. They've had it for a while. I just thought it was the WWE thing to do. But I'm very glad I was wrong because the Usos, honestly, they are so good. They need to have a lengthy title reign, it, it, even longer than they've already had. But overall, this match, um, I thought the stipulation hurt it. I, I think that kind of played into the fact that it wasn't a great match because we were all waiting for the first fall. It took so long to get that first fall. And then once you did, boom, the Usos got the second one straight away. It was a clean sweep, which that was unexpected, yes. But it also didn't do much for Chad and Benjamin. It didn't make the match feel very good. But it wasn't. It wasn't an awful match. What do you guys think? I was um, disappointed, but that's because I have so many expectations, and I know what all four men are capable of. Exactly. So. Yeah, I was expecting a new day USO kind of match. You know, like yeah. force yeah, count, this, force count. I was. If it, if mm. it weren't two out of three falls, the match <clears> would have been amazing. I think. I think the match would have been a lot better if it wasn't two out of three falls. I was the second they announced two out of three. I'm not a big fan of those matches uh, at all. I've never really liked those kind of the that kind of match, but it was it was okay because it was the second match on the card, and uh, yeah, I mean it wasn't a bad match. It just it could have been a lot better, and uh, I got that wrong, of course, going with Chad and Benjamin to be your new tag champ. So already, um, Flame and Captain getting a uh, a win over me, basically. So we move on to the next one. Obviously, this is not in order, but we'll, we'll do this match next. And that is the bar uh, and uh, Champions Club. So this was a very interesting match because Jason Jordan was taken out of it for the whole thing, pretty much. Um, and yeah, what, Flame, what, what do you think of this? Well, I was pretty much kind of right in a way because I knew that something with Jason Jordan would have led to them losing the titles mm. and well he didn't do 
in a way, he kind of did still do something because of the fact that like he didn't. So we all, when we Seth all... tagged him or whatever it was. Like, yeah, he didn't even, and then just like, tagged just right back out. Like... So yeah, he's, he's still like what I said exactly with Jason Jordan happened. Then mm. that's going to be the build to them having a match at Mania because Ambrose ain't coming back yet. So yep, agreed. Um, it, yeah, it was not a it great was match well because good for what they could do. Yeah, they had to protect Jason Jordan. He's clearly injured, clearly not match fit. They had to do something. So it, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it followed the the Rumble match. So automatically, crowd was not. You could, the crowd was not into this, and um, you could clearly tell. Neither was I. I was not in this. I was not into it at all. But. Flame, congratulations, dude! You're the only one who uh, who predicted that right. Me and Captain, obviously, going with Champions Club, JJ and Seth Rollins. But overall, it wasn't a good match. Um, I don't think it was a good match. I'm not saying I it was necessarily like it bad, better. but yeah. it would have been better. If it it would have seemed better if it didn't follow the Rumble. Absolutely, absolutely, and it is a bit of a shame about Jason Jordan. Can't do anything about that. But anyway, we move on. Flame, for now, has got every prediction right so far. So, uh, very impressive, but there's a bit, of a bit of a turnaround later on. We move on to, well, Brock, Brock and Brock is what I see on the list. Do we really need to talk about this match? It was, it was, it didn't, it didn't feel very good. I, I don't, it was just a couple botches, a bit of some spot fests that we've already seen in these kind of Brock matches. I thought it was just this, we've already seen this kind of carnage, but Kane made it kind of lame for me. I didn't like it. We all knew Brock was going to win. Couple words on it, Captain. What do you think about it? It was good for what it could do with Kane being in the match and trying to protect Braun, but also having Brock retain his title. We all knew that was going to happen, so yeah, we all got that right. We'll move on. Uh, so Flame, for now, has still got every prediction right. Captain only getting, um, what was it, the bar wrong. And I've got, obviously, Chad, the two tag matches wrong. So we move on to the female Royal Rumble. Flame, you went with Ronda Rousey. I will let you take this one. What do you um, think? So, Oscar was the obvious option. Rousey was, like, a big rumour. Mm-hmm. And I went for Rousey because I personally thought she would have been in the Rumble. But, but she wasn't, was she, Flame? Went, instead, they mm -hmm. went with Oscar, and I'm fine with that because, um, thankfully, they did what they did afterwards, and I liked that, and what, what she's that? here, so. <laughs> Rousey's <laughs> debut. Yes, get in. Only Rousey's thing you've been talking debut. about for a long time. Be, uh, yeah, awesome, though. Absolutely um, awesome. So. I'm and still, the story like, behind it's amazing as well. Flame oh, is it, still oh. like on cloud nine since Ronda debuted, and uh, to be honest, yeah. I am too. Just it was it was awesome. She is How great. Can you not be? I I I love Ronda Rousey already, and I I've seen her for five my minutes. My favorite, like well best day, well done debuts. Mm. Well, uh, could have been a bit better. I don't. It could have been much it, better. It could have been the much better. The story that I got from it. I'm not even going to get into that. Told, but it, it could have been a lot better. Um, surely you can you can admit it could have been better. She could have done more than uh, everything can be better though. Or could we point to told a sign. the story that I got out of it a lot better. Than yes. Me. Okay, so that happened. Asuka obviously did win the match. Captain, you actually predicted the correct winner for the women's thirty women were rumble. That is impressive. Even though yes, so it was you. the the favorite. So did I. You're right, <laughs> so did I. Um, forgetting there for a sec, that went with Asuka. But obviously her being the obvious choice, it was Asuka. I thought it was a good rumble. All the nostalgia acts. Um, I, I still thought it made it a good rumble. Stuff. I thought it was good. Uh, we'll move on, we'll move on. We'll see how next year it's is. Maybe now. there'll be a bigger yeah. roster for the women and we'll have less nostalgia acts. We move on to the last match, that is the Men's Royal Rumble, and once again, Captain, you predicted it right again, Shinsuke Nakamura. Captain, what did you think of this match? Um, it was the best Rumble I've seen in a long, long time. What what Rumble did you have seen that was better than this one? What, what year was it in? 
2007, I believe. Right. Or Undertaker. Yeah, Undertaker. Yeah. So mine's either that one or, or Edge in 2010 for me. But, yeah, I love that as well, but I think this was just... But the, the Rumble match yeah. itself, I think this was the best I've ever watched because the winners, maybe, I preferred the Edge and the Undertaker, but the whole match seemed like they had a game plan. It seems like they actually sat down, you know, and just decide, like, you know, went into this with, with a complete plan not just planning two yeah, spots in the match the whole not... thing went full circle didn't it yeah i feel like it was they a had mix between the match planners like the people that script the matches mm. and the people that write the storylines yeah because yeah. there was a story throughout this entire room because like you had the little moments like where you had the old generation and the new generation like the three on three bit probably there my favorite so part. many so many cool little moments in there. You had the backstage bit with Sammy and KO. Yeah, yeah. Like the Heath Slater. The Heath, the Heath Slater. Slater. Yes, Heath Slater. Like, you had. There was a lot going on. Almas, Adam Cole, baby. Um, I mean, there were so many great things, and of course, number twenty-seven. Who was number twenty-seven? Booyaka, booyaka. I was waiting for someone to do that. <laughs> it was Rey Mysterio. That was so cool. Which led to a final six of Randy Orton, Cena and Rey, and Bala, Nakamura and Roman Reigns. Even though, if I'm not mistaken, isn't um, Finn Bala older than Randy Orton? You mean Shinsuke Nakamura? Or no, isn't Finn? Or is it not Finn? Is Shin well, I'm pretty no, sure Finn either Finn is or Shinsuke. not older than anyone. Are you sure? Nah, Finn is probably older than Orton. I'm pretty sure. Started like... How old is Orton? Finn Balor is 36. Okay, no, Randy's Orton 38, I think. 38. Yeah, I think. Finn's 36, but Nakamura. He He's older than I think. He's 37, damn. <laughs> okay, so apparently, apparently I'm wrong here, but Randy Orton is, is, is not exactly. You no, know, Randy's 37, same age as Nakamura, so there we go. But anyway, guys, I think we're gonna we're gonna end it here. But the last thing is, you went with Ziggler Flame. That was probably uh, one of the worst things in the Rumble. Ziggler entering at thirty and doing... apparently they're doing that for a reason though. Like the short elimination, apparently it is the start of like a big push for him. We can only hope. So... We can only hope. Yeah, getting eliminated in two minutes. I'm interested. Coming number three, yeah, because he's gonna be like proper annoyed but... about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut it off here, guys. I'm sorry because there is. A new crowning. We have a champion of predictions for our first ever pay per view. Moving over to the screen. Congratulations, Captain. You have won the Royal Rumble 2018 predictions. And only because Flame can't predict a Royal Rumble. You did very well. Flame um, obviously getting second in there, and I got third. Didn't do very well. Didn't do very well. I predicted like how many rumbles in a row apart from like last year. So, okay. All right. Well, I predict the one that there. I will be back with both of these guys for Elimination Chamber. Who will be number one? Who will win the predictions? I'm gonna. I'm. I think I've got this. I think. I think. I'm, I think I've got this. Elimination Chamber is gonna be my yard, and I will be on top of that podium. But well, real quick, I mean, we, we're both going to get both the Elimination Chambers. Mm -hmm. To finish yeah. it off, out of 10, the Rumble, Captain. Whole pay-per-view itself. The whole pay-per-view. Just out of 10, real quick. Um, the whole pay-per-view, I'd say... I'd give it a good 9 out of 10. Alright, Flame? I'm going to go 8. Um... Because apart from the Rumble matches, the rest of the card wasn't the best. And I'm going to go like... exactly what you said, to be honest. It, I said 9 on Twitter, but with a bit of thinking about it, if you take the whole Rumble itself, I enjoyed the Rumble matches. Everything else fell short, and there are some things you can pick at in the women's. and 8 out of 10, oh. but still such a solid Rumble match itself. And if you're looking at just the Rumble, because it is the pay-per-view, 9 maybe for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Flame, for your predictions. Take care, guys. Peace out.